Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be reviewing a foundation and I'm really excited because I have not even used this foundation uh, because I wanted to film a review um, and demo on it first. Um, so I wanted it to be like a uh, so I wanted it to be like a genuine first impressions. So this is the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Foundation. Yeah, this is what the box looks like. I had to um, get a different shade last week or about, yeah. It's been so long and I am so sorry you guys. I have not been like uploading when I'm supposed to. But, um, I've been, uh, really busy with just, like, redoing, um, my bedroom. So, I haven't had a lot of time. And especially because with noise and everything, you know, um, it's kind of hard to film. So, yeah, finally, I'm filming this today. So, yeah, this is the packaging. So, yeah, this is the packaging for the foundation. And I like how it's so different from, like, what I've seen usually. So this is, like, kind of like an animal print type of um, cap. A pump. So, yeah, it does come with a pump. So, yeah, I'm going to be applying it with my beauty blender. And I'm also going to be applying... The first thing that I'm going to do is apply some of my Belief Moisturizing, uh, Moisturizing Balm. So, yeah, I'm going to apply this, and then I'm going to let it sink into my skin, and then I will apply my foundation. So, yeah, um, I basically just dot it all over, you know, and then I blend it in with my fingers. Of course, you have to have clean hands. So... Um, to me, this is a light layer of moisturizer because every morning when I wake up and I apply my, um, toner, I then apply my moisturizer, and I do apply a little bit more than I probably should, but it's just, I don't know, something about doing that just makes me feel like, okay, my skin is getting that extra hydration. So, yeah, I really like... I really like this moisturizer and the serum. Um, I just started using a, a heavier, thicker cream for my night um, cream, and it is so the yeah. For the nighttime, I began using the Caress. So I began using the Caress uh, Black Pine Anti Wrinkle Firming and Lifting Cream. Now, I it's it's a glass ball. It's pretty heavy. Um, I don't know. I do like it. I like how it feels on my skin, but for some reason, I do not like the scent. Like, I feel like it does smell like pine, but it smells like, not like the pine you want to smell, like, during the holidays, you know? But, like, kind of like a, a gross type of smelly pine. I don't know. So, yeah, um, I've been using that at night. Um, I'm hoping that the the scent kind of like grows on me or like um i just don't smell it anymore but if i don't then i'll have to just you know um look for something else because it's um it's kind of a strong smell so if you're sensitive to smells i wouldn't recommend it for that purpose but i do really recommend the belief one it's amazing and um i use my Lancome Genifique uh, Serum morning and night as well. So, yeah, we're going to um, uh, let that sink into our skin because you never want to apply your foundation directly right after applying moisturizer because moisturizer is supposed to penetrate our skin and, you know, it's supposed to be beneficial for his skin and all of that stuff while um, foundation is supposed to just sit on the skin. It's not supposed to 
penetrate into the skin. Um, therefore, you know, if it did, um, so if we were to, so an example, if I were to apply my foundation directly um, right after applying my moisturizer, then my skin would soak up the uh, foundation as well and I would most likely begin to break out and you know you don't want those um, chemicals you know in our skin so yeah now I'm applying it so I basically just um, did two pumps onto my beauty blender and now I'm just going to begin to pounce it onto my skin and see how it looks with the beauty blender if i don't like it then i'll switch to a brush but so far i think i like it with the beauty blender so finally i got a color that actually matches me because the previous one was like really really light So today I got my very first pumpkin spice latte of the season and I enjoyed that so much that I like drank that thing in like, I don't know, like 15 minutes. I mean, it's so good. I missed it so much. You guys have no idea how much I love pumpkin spice lattes from Starbucks. I mean, I even bought, like, the whole, like, ingredients, I guess you could say, um, last year to, like, make it, um, when I had my Keurig still, but this year I'm going to enjoy it much more because my new coffee machine, like, I can actually make froth, like, the, like, the froth that goes on top of lattes, so I'm really excited about that. Um, so, so far, so good. It looks amazing. I actually really like this. Okay, so basically, okay, so basically here we have one layer of foundation on this side of my face. And as you can see, the redness is gone. Most, um, of my uh what do you call it? most of my freckles are no longer visible you can still see some of my like sun spots on here on my forehead between my brows but other than that my skin looks really smooth and like silky so we're just going to do the other side of the face and as you can see no foundation, foundation. So I'm going to do this side and then I'll come back and see if I need to add any more on um, like, you know, certain areas and, you know, show you guys the final result. And the final look, as you guys can see, my skin looks really flawless. The foundation is a very, very lightweight. I don't really feel like I'm wearing much product. Um, I think I could feel a little bit more product now that I set my face. Um, but other than that, it feels very lightweight. I feel like it looks very flawless. It is definitely a medium to full coverage. Now it claims that it's water resistant. So, I don't know about that, um, and it's supposed to be, like, sweat resistant. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to do much today, so we'll just have to see how it performs, um, in a few hours. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to keep you guys updated, and then I'll give you guys my final thoughts, um, at the end of the night. So, I applied it about... Uh, for um I applied it at 4 p.m. and it is now 4:45. So I'm going to leave it on 
for as long as I can. Hey guys, so I wanted to update you on my foundation. Um, it is 7 o'clock. Um, last time was 4.45. I applied it at 4. So it's been 3 hours. And um, as you know, I did not apply any primer. I mentioned that in the video when I was applying it. So um, I'm going to quickly show you guys. Yeah, my skin still looks really good. I feel like it looks like I just applied the foundation. Usually foundations start to wear off um, like two, three hours um, into the day when, especially when you're not um, wearing primer or prepped your skin or any of that. Um, and my foundation looks good. I am really shocked because I only applied a very light layer of my uh, powder by MAC, my MSF Natural, and my skin looks really good. Um, I'm, you know, it's normal for me to get a little bit, like, shiny on my nose, but I feel like it's not overly shiny, like, it doesn't look like oils. It, it just looks like I, I have, like, a more luminous look to my face, um, but, yeah, other than that, like, the cheek area, everything is, like, pretty good. It, it looks really good. My forehead looks good. Everything just looks seamless and very flawless. I have to say I really like this foundation. So yeah, I really like this foundation. I think that if I were to touch up, um, you know, on a day where I'm wearing this out, it would be like very small, like touch up, you know, just like uh, with a little bit of uh, powder with like a large um, powder brush like I usually do. And I would be fine, you know, for the rest of the time that I wear the foundation. I, I really like the finish. I like the coverage. I like how lightweight it feels. It feels very lightweight. Um, I don't feel like I'm wearing a ton of product on my face. And yeah, I, I think this is like one of my new favorite foundations. Um, I can't say it's my absolute favorite yet because, you know, this is the very first time that I wear it, but I, I really like it. I think it looks amazing. I can't wait to wear this out somewhere because my skin looks really good. I have to say I love this foundation. It was very easy to apply. You guys saw how that just like blended in really effortlessly and it made me look flawless from the start. So I honestly have to say this is a huge win um, in my opinion. I love this foundation and I would definitely recommend it. I read on the Sephora website that anyone can use this foundation, whether you have dry skin, whether you have a uh, combo, whether you have oily skin, and it is supposed to be like sweat proof. So yeah, I love the foundation. I give it a 10 out of 10. And yeah, I really hope that this was helpful to you guys. Um, and especially because I have dry skin and I only get oily down the center of my face which is right here so if you enjoyed this foundation review please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and yeah if you guys would like to see more videos like this let me know down below I will be filming um, a whole face of first impressions um, as well and then um, I know I have to announce like my giveaway, so yeah, I will be doing that as well. 
So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!